Hi there, Professor Rosa, and today for lab 12, there's a part where we have to do the anal analysis of urine, and that is called urinalysis. So here we have three urine samples, and we can tell a lot from urine, and it's a quick, quick and easy test that is routinely performed in labs. So this is what we're gonna do, but of course uh, we're using um, artificial urine but we still manage to have some yellow color so it looks really realistic um, this test is going to be performed using what we call uh, test strips so these can be found uh, many times over the counter they will test for different um, either drugs or urine components or parameters. This one um, is actually testing for seven different, um, on one strip you have actually seven different tests. And um, what we see here is a color chart that will help us uh, get the results basically. So I'll explain that to you. Um, the same chart here has been printed in a flat version, so it's easier to um, to look at. So what do we need? Uh, since we have three samples, we need three tubes. So here we have our three tubes. All right. Um, we need to label each tube according to our urine sample, so we know which sample we're testing. So that's really an important step. Uh, otherwise, you will give the patient um, the exam results of someone else's and that's really not good. So we have sample one, two, and three. So we're gonna label our tubes one, two, and three. We need three test strips Ooh, these are hard to open so they look like this and you have seven uh, seven different tests on the same strip that's what you see those seven little squares they will each react to different um, urine uh, components or parameters so we need three of those since we have three samples and we also don't want to mix up our strips when we once we're done uh, putting them in contact with the urine so these need to be labeled as well and pencil is nice because it uh, even if it gets wet it's not going to um, to get erased so one I made one here then we need a second one and a third one One, two, and three. Okay, so we can't mix up our results now. Everything is properly labeled. We can close our box. Now we're gonna use three different pipettes because we do not want to mix up the urine samples as we take a little bit uh, from each. So this is what we're gonna do here. Open one. My tube is labeled one here. So I'm going to take some of this. Don't need to fill it all the way. So this is used. I'm not going to reuse it. I discard it and I close my sample bottle. Second one. It's used. So I discard it, close my bottle. So three, sample three. And last plastic pipette. Oops. Okay, 
that's more than enough. I'm gonna put these aside. Now we have our three test strips. Test strip one goes in tube one, right? And um, if you read the protocol, it says that it uh, shouldn't, it wouldn't, the, the strip has to stay in contact with urine, but not for very long. And then it has to be dried out. So here we have paper towel, so we can just put that strip directly on the paper towel once we're done. Just gonna put a glove because I don't want that urine in contact with my fingers even though it's fake um <laughs> we never know so test strips one i'm gonna test the first sample one and my strip is in the tube and i'm just gonna flip it over so it touches all my little squares right so that's what I did. Everything got wet. That's perfect. That's more than enough. Then I can just put it to dry here. I'm going to do the same for two and three. Test strip, strip two in tube two. Flip it over a little bit. Everything's wet. Perfect. And then three, it's really a quick ex experiment, quick results, very easy to do. And that's perfect. So now we have number three. So I'm done with those as well. So I set them aside and I have my three test strips. I didn't even need the tweezers here. I'm confident I can touch this now. So I more comfortable without my gloves. And I have the chart here and I should be able to read the results pretty quickly. So how do I proceed now? And that's what you're gonna do. And as you get your results, you're going to enter them in the table that you have in your manual. So you have the chart um, and you have to um, look at the top uh, test before on the test strip here. And then that corresponds to the leukocytes. It says LEU, so that's for leukocytes in urine. And then you have different possibilities. It's either according to the color, negative, there are traces, uh, small amount, moderate amounts, or large amounts of leukocytes. And of course, you also have explanations in your manual as to whether or not you should find leukocytes, white blood cells in your urine. Um, then you um, have the second test that is going to be the second square here that is for urobilinogen and according to the color you can determine if there are normal amounts or large amounts or moderate amounts and you keep going then you have the second test for proteins in the urine then the urine ph then if there's blood or not in the urine if there are ketones or glucose um, so just look at the results. I'll put them up there for you of each test, one, two, and three, and then enter those results in your table and draw your conclusions. That's your turn now.